The western edge of Yellowstone lies within Montana, and it's the most convenient entrance for exploring America's first national park by snowmobile. Yellowstone in winter on a snowmobile is fantastic. For one, the park is practically empty, and right away I was able to get up close to one of my favorite animals, bison. The American bison are one of the great conservation success stories in the world, and it all happened here in Yellowstone. Watching bison in winter is quite different. These are massive animals, and I loved watching the way they use their big heads to move away the snow and push it away so that they could eat the grass underneath. Watching the bison roam on the prairie and the steam of the geysers rising up from behind was so ethereal. Yellowstone in winter is a quiet place. You hear the water rushing through the streams and the sounds of birds like these trumpeter swans that stay in Yellowstone all year round. The wildlife was incredible. I saw elk, I saw bobcats, and I even saw a few coyote wandering through the snow. But besides the wildlife, the land itself is alive at Yellowstone, and no visit is complete without watching an eruption of Old Faithful that erupts almost every 90 minutes. And yet, there were only a few people there, which is why Yellowstone in winter is so superb. So I just saw Old Faithful erupt, my first time being in Yellowstone in wintertime, and I absolutely love it. For one, there are no crowds, and also everything is covered with white snow and ice, it's beautiful. And the animals come down to the warmer places, so it's easier to see them. After a day wandering around the park, I was still eager to witness some of Yellowstone's largest carnivores, so I head back to the Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Center in West Yellowstone, where I got to see real grizzly bears and the American wolf, which is a beautiful creature. Looking at a wolf in the eyes is an unforgettable experience. And despite the cold, I can honestly say that winter in Yellowstone is my favorite season.